hello everyone welcome back to this is it and we're gonna make strawberry lemonade cheesecake and strawberry lemonade juice or drink however you want to call it so let's get started first we're going to use um two eight ounce cream cheese i got the walmart brand um and they have to be room temperature so i'm going to empty these into my mixing bowl so we're going to do that first I'm gonna take this off because it makes it easier to put the stuff in the mixing bowl. So I'm gonna empty them all out. And then I'm gonna move to the next pack and empty that out into the mixing bowl. First one. Do pack number two. I should have had these out of the cardboard. It would have been much better to do that than to be trying to get it done now. But uh oh. Um. that we have that emptied in there. Then we move to a fourth cup of lemon juice. So I'm gonna do that next. And I'm using the Great Value lemon juice. I'll shake it up, the, shake it up first. And then grab my one fourth cup Pour it in there. Okay. Sometimes I use fresh lemons. Um, they make they end up being really good to put in a cheesecake because you have like the little lemon, you know, pieces in there, so it ends up being really good. Um, and then after that, it calls for a teaspoon of vanilla extract, but I use lemon, oops, sorry, lemon and vanilla mixed together. And I use the teaspoon of those mix. So I'll use like a half a teaspoon of lemon and then a half a teaspoon of vanilla. This is the mixture. I just pour that in there. Then I go from there after putting, replacing all my tops for everything. And I do a 
the one 14 ounce can of condensed milk, which I also use the Walmart brand. And I just open it. Use my spatula. And then I put my mixer back together. Wash my sticky hands. I don't like having sticky hands while it's up. Probably should turn it on, huh? Okay, I'm back. So we're gonna turn on this mixer and we're gonna mix it up and then I'm gonna wash my hands. the cheesecake see how it's doing down here if it's mixed in well it looked like it is but I might run it one more time just to make sure run it one more time on high speed I talk to my mom all the time about the mixer because she um, also has kitchen and mixers. I think she has like two of them. But her mixer is like, um, when she, she's mixing, she has like batter up here and flour. And it just hurts me, like, to see flour getting up there and stuff like that. So I can be freaking out. I'm like, my mixer is never going to be like your mixer. I just throw it out all the time. But then my next step after doing that, mixing that, I'll probably leave it on like low and then kind of push it back on the counter and then we can go to the next step. I now have my 
my food processor, which um, it's a, just a Black & Decker food processor. I think it holds like, um, I think it's like four cups, I believe it is. Um, but I love it. It blends, I mean, it processes the food really good. So I don't have the little top on the top of it, but um, I just want to kind of show you um, how I do this. So the Oreo that I showed you at the beginning, um, I'm gonna take the Oreos and I'm gonna put them inside the food processor. So I just add lemon Oreos to the food processor and that's gonna make my crumbs for the bottom of my cheesecake. Just put them in there whole like that. That was a whole, this is a whole sleeve of Oreos that's in here now. and this definitely is not a sleep one sleeve one roll is not going to be enough for 12. I know a lot of people use graham cracker crumbs for their bottom for their crust um, but I found even like the vanilla Oreos like the if you're doing the chocolate um, cheesecake, the chocolate Oreo is good. So I'm going to use like another half of a roll of Oreo. they're all just like into blended chunks I mean blended pieces and it's not chunk real bad so yeah if you can see that see, kind of like kind of like a sand type filling you still got the lemon um the filling that was inside the Oreos is still in here which kind of helps keep the crust together so yep and we still got the mixer going over here where the cheesecake was still creamy whatever um, it's looking good, looking good. Okay, I'll be back with the next step. Okay, so I'm back. I'm using the Walmart brand um, snack cups with lids. It's 25 cups in a pack, and they're like 5.5 ounces in each um, for each cup. So they kind of they look like these. Sometimes they come in like a clear where you can see straight through them, which is my my favorite kind, the best ones. Um, but these aren't that clear, so I spread out like 12 um, of these cups. Like 
crumbs of my, my Oreos and I'm just gonna scoop some into the cups, the bottom of the cups. Because that's gonna be your, your crumbs or the bottom. Just kind of do like a small floor. smash it it'll smash into like it'll pack itself just like um the graham crackers would do the graham crackers the butter and the sugar that you usually make for this it'll smash itself just like that if you want it to but um i usually don't smash it in the bottom i just kind of put it in there a little bit add as much as i need to it so i'm gonna leave a little bit in this container i mean in this um the chopper food processor to actually go on top for the ones that I just want to do all, with all lemon flavor, no strawberry. So, okay, so I kind of filled them up to the amount that I want, and then I just kind of left like a corner, so you can see, like a corner of it for top the top of the, the cheesecake. So I have an ice cream scoop. It's a very, very like a small one. This probably the smallest ice cream scoop that they have. Um, I, I, oh, it's a four ounce. I think it's four ounce. Um, but yeah, so I use this ice cream scoop and I scoop my um, mixture into the cups and I probably do about two and a half scoops maybe three um, depending on how much crust is in the bottom and it just kind of looks like this this is what it's going to look like so I'm going to do all 12 cups like that I just you guys so you can see what I'm doing stuff in the bowl and I'm just going to take it and scoop it out and then squeeze it inside just like you would do ice cream and just three scoops three like usually almost heaping spoons the edges of the mixing bowl with the spatula and we 
can get it all in one spot. This spatula is not the greatest. Um, I don't know why I keep it, but it's not. And then I'm gonna scoop the rest of this out. I got some of them that I put two like smaller scoops in there. So I'm going back and kind of adding a little bit more to that rose. Do you ever uh, do something and catch yourself doing it and then think about who who does that? I, I mean, like when I'm mixing or making cakes and stuff, I always think about the faces that I make when I'm doing it. And I think about my mom because my mom makes some of the weirdest faces when she's doing stuff. So it kind of um, reminds me of my mom. So then I'm gonna just take these crumbs and kind of like, you know, chop them up a little bit because they have kind of set in the bottom of the thing and kind of got hard. So for the ones that I'm gonna use to mix in, I'm just gonna take it to mix this um, breadcrumb or Oreo stuff and just kind of sprinkle it over the top. I think I would probably do that with most of the fuller ones because the strawberries have to go on top of the other ones, so. And then I'm gonna say some to go on top of the ones with the strawberries. So, so I'm back with, I just got some um, strawberries that I kind of gelatin up myself um, with sugar and cornstarch. Um, so yeah, and I um, take them, maybe like one strawberry and some gel and put it in in the cups. One or sometimes two strawberries I can use. Yep, like this. It's, it's easy for me to make some more strawberries, so. I think these are a little thick, though. Kind of thicken them a little bit. Maybe too much. But, oh well. It's, they're still good. So I'm gonna add a, like a, another small strawberry to that one. And then another one to this one right here. And another small one to this one because I don't think there's not many strawberries in them. Oh, yep, then it's the strawberry lemonade cheesecake. So then I add the top. Oh, I'm gonna put some some crumbs on top. So this one, just throw some crumbs on top like you did the other one. And it also helps where the strawberry stuff is not sticking to the top. So. These will probably be gone before tomorrow. That's just how the kids, the kids love them, so. Yep, so you see the, this container is empty. Um, I use all of the crumbs. So just kind of put the top on and this is kind of what it looks like. Strawberry. 
lemonade, lemon cheesecake, strawberry lemonade cheesecake, strawberry lemon, whatever, whichever one you want to call it. But this is how that one looks. And then this one looks like this. And I just put them in the refrigerator and let them set. Um, maybe about, I say probably about two and a half, three, maybe four hours. Um, but yeah, the kids love them. They eat them for breakfast. Excuse the mess, but they eat them for breakfast. Um, they'll eat them with, with the lunch. Um, take them to work with them, all types. So, yep. All right, and we're gonna move to the next thing. See you in a minute.